What do we need to get done next for cubes in space? In this Ottawa science class, the sky is not the limit. It's the starting point. Can you just put your computers in politeness mode for a moment? These grade four to six students at St. Brother Andre Elementary School are in a gifted program. Send two different things, like a vial of it with water and then like a vial of it with like Demron around it. They're part of a NASA research initiative helping kids launch experiments in space. And these nine to 11 year olds are thinking way outside the box. To find out that scientists that have been working for years and years and years on this haven't discovered something and then us elementary school kids discover it, it's really cool. The discovery began with a common medical tool found in schools across the country, the EpiPen, an injectable device that delivers a life-saving drug and reverses the effects of severe allergies. The students had a question, would an EpiPen still work in space? It was pretty cool because we think that NASA didn't know about it. They put samples in tiny cubes sent on board a NASA rocket and balloon. Once the cubes returned to Earth, their contents were brought here to the University of Ottawa, where scientists made a remarkable discovery in the lab. The first part of doing science is asking the right question, and they asked a fantastic question. The answer stunned career chemists. The active ingredient in EpiPens no longer worked. In fact, it became poisonous. There's an interaction with the cosmic radiation that comes when you leave the atmosphere. We were just like kind of in the background, just being, just smiling at each other and being like, yes. <laughs> Next, the students will travel to Virginia in June and present their findings to NASA. The students are very forward thinking. They're already anticipating um, people going to the moon and then beyond and colonizing Mars. They're also eyeing careers in rocket science. You feel like you're making a real change because a lot of the times it feels like it's just adults. And all the molecules. High achievers with curiosity that knows no bounds. Taria Isri, Global News, Ottawa.